Mr. Musa, given the kind of violence we saw at the court that day, even if, even if you want to dismiss that as speculative, even if you want to do that, it's difficult to dismiss as speculative the fact that local government congresses were held in River State, despite a judgment by the River State High Court barring those congresses from taking place. Is that not an outright uh, uh, disregard for the rule of law in the country? If, by if, your party? No, 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 no. no. If, if, there is, if there is that court order as being alleged, and if those people that were sent to River State to do it decided to go contrary to the decision of the court, then it is unfortunate. But the fact that I am sent to do an assignment, like now in Nasarawa State, we are sent to sit an appeal panel, and we decided not to listen to the appeal of those who feel aggrieved. Or when we, dis when we listen to them, we decided to do things contrary to the rules and regulation of the party. That is not a decision of the party. It is just some recalcitrant members of the party who decide to go against the guidelines. Because the constitution is clear, the guidelines are given for you mm. how to carry mm. out... Mr. Musa, very quickly. So it is only if you said that you show me any in our guidelines or in the party constitution that says... Even if a court gives an order, you should disregard it and continue with it. You link it to the APC. But if you don't have that, just because somebody did something and he happens to be a member of the party, you now say that is uh, what is sanction of the APC. I, I, decide, I disagree with that. Mr. Musa, very quickly, when, you, when obviously the picture is being out there that those congresses held anyway, do you think that the national leadership of your party should be speaking out about some of the crises in some of these states in view of, like we talked about, the disregarded uh, court order? No, of course, the leadership of the party will have to talk, but you don't expect the leadership of the party to talk based on speculation. It has to wait for a report to come from River State, to see the report, to hear both sides of the party, but they cannot just for the sake of talking jump the gun and start making uh, um, a pronouncement without having the clear facts of what really happened there. So definitely at the end of the day, when the party listens, the leadership of the party listens to what happens in various states of the Federation where there is uh, a handful of crises, it is going to take a decision on that. And uh, um, like I said, uh, crisis, I mean, having disagreement in party politics is normal, particularly in a large party like APC. Mr. Musa, at this juncture, we're going to take some questions from my colleagues in Lagos. Chamberlain? Well, is it me, actually. Mr. Musa, before the, 20, uh, before the 2015 elections, Nigerians came out strongly and wanted a change. And your party promised a change. So Nigerians will be looking to see a better example from your party than what they had before. If the situation is like this, you say there are just a few states, but the reports have, they say, at least 20 states had issues with their local congresses. Is this a good example? And what do you think Nigerians will be looking to see going to the next elections? Uh, from 2015 to date, uh, indeed Nigeria ha uh, have seen uh, positive changes from the party they have voted, uh, the APC. Uh, they have seen how corruption is being fought. Uh, they have seen how uh, the government of the day is, uh, is committed, uh, the leadership is committed to, to the welfare of the Nigerians. They have seen how uh, a, a, a president that is elected on the platform of the party uh, has refused to use the state apparatus for, for his own personal gains. And uh, they, they have seen a president who allowed democracy to thrive, uh, where people within the party can express their disagreement with him, and yet nothing will happen to them. Uh, no, uh, nobody is being forced to, to leave his position, either on, on the point of gun or any intimidated. Um, at least you ha we have seen that for the first time from 1999, an elected chairman of the ruling party ha is finishing his full-term tenure and uh, he has every right to recontest again. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is really a, a, a departure from the past where within a short time we have seen how the turnover of national leadership of the ruling party 
uh, just because in one way or the other, the, ruler, the leadership of the party feel that they have to correct the leadership of the country, voted on the platform of the party, they will be shown the way out. So, so definitely in terms of party politics, uh, we already have a change and uh, we continue to have. On, on the so, issue of the so primaries, Mr. Mr. Musa, uh, you see you're saying that Nigerians have seen positive change from what they, they in other words, Nigerians should actually rejoice and be glad that the APC is organizing itself locally. But one of your governors is quoted in a paper as saying that the National Working Committee and the National Chairman of the party are the ones sabotaging the Congress in his state. And you say Nigerians should be happy that they've seen positive change by the example the, of your party? The, the, no, the governor, the governor is, 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 is a leader in his own right in the party. And uh, he has every right to, to express his own opinion. And if he has grievances against the party, definitely he must take them. But if you have 24 governors and uh, only one feel that uh, something is wrong with, with, the, with the leadership of the party, I don't think that is an issue for you to generalize and say that the entire party is, 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 uh, is, is not doing well. We have seen where some governors, not only one, many of them that had to walk out from a national convention of the party because uh, they, they were not listened to or there was no agreement between them and the leadership of the party. So, um, and uh, I'm sure, I'm sure the party, the leadership of the party will not allow uh, what happened in that state to go just like that. Uh, and uh, even the governor, as, 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 as a lover of peace, as a lover of the party, he will be able to sit with other leaders of the party in the state. The national leadership will see mm -hmm. how they reconcile all of them. And I'm sure before the election, we'll get those things sorted out. Mr. Musa, uh, before we go on break, let's look at, you mentioned earlier, you know, that there's a failure on the part of some members of your party to address their grievances legitimately through the means of, uh, you know, of appeal, if you will, mm -hmm. within the party. Mm -hmm. Is there no concern on your part that there's any level of bias, any level of collusion between the national leadership of the party and various state factions uh, across the federation? Look, I, I, I have not seen that concern. You see, the constitution of the party is clear, the guidelines of the election. State names are chosen from various states of the federation, members of the party. And uh, to ensure um, fairness, Nobody is sent to his state of origin. In fact, in most of the cases, uh, if nobody is even sent to his own uh, geopolitical zones. You are sent to another geopolitical zone, to a different state where you have no any interest. You go and conduct your duty as stated by the uh, party guidelines. You now have the appeal panel where it will sit. After that, you can appeal to the National Working Committee of the party. Now, what we are saying is, uh, these are the processes. You don't, you don't expect our party to just be reacting uh, by the pulse of the moment. Things happen. Oh, somebody said that there was crisis in the Sarawak state. Somebody may decide to say that. For instance, today, that there was violence in the Sarawak state uh, election. And uh, the, of course, the party cannot take a decision based on that. But it's a, a the, false claim is clearly different from watching news at 10 and you see a court completely broken down and, and shattered. Is that what I'm saying? I have seen that is condemnable. But how, how, how can you, how do you conclude that there are APC members? That's my problem with that conclusion. We'll, we'll pick that up when we come back. We're going to take a very short break. Our viewers, please do stay with us.